Hello, I'm Mix Mazamar Man and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing an unboxing and review use of setup on this Ego LM190 3ESP um, lawnmower, which has been sent to me free from um, Cobra to do an unboxing and review on it to see how it performs. This is um, roughly an 18 inch um, rotary style lawnmower, plastic built with an Ego style um, battery power source rather than your conventional plug in and play uh, corded or your battery machine. It's a really, really simple machine, um, not a lot to unbox, not a lot to set up. You can be up and cutting in around 10 to 15 minutes with no troubles at all. So we're getting it out of the box first of all, and then we get it all set up, get it up on the bench, and I'll show you how to go through the setup um, process and how to get yourself mowing. If it's your first time you want to mix mowers and mower man, hit your subscribe button, whack the old bell, set notifications to all. That way you'll be telling some up on my video. So without further ado, let's get down dirty. Let's get this Ego battery-powered lawnmower up and running. Right, so to start this lawnmower review, first thing we're going to do is take out the Ego battery and take out your, your rapid charger, uh, charging docking station. Because without any battery power, you're not going to be able to mow any grass, right? So unplug that, or un unravel that, get that set up. And then you've got your Ego battery here. Now I already have um, unboxed mine just so I can get the battery charged up fully for purpose of review. But I'll put it all back in just so you get the pleasure of unboxing twice. Your Ego batteries, this is a five amp power, and this will have a three year warranty on this. So you've already got a three year warranty on your battery before you even take it out of the box. And simply plug and play, green side, light green side goes in, stick it down, go and plug it into a power source, and then your battery will start to charge. Now this will charge from zero to 100% in about 40 minutes, okay? And you can check how uh, fully batteries by pushing the, the top green button on the top here, and it'll light up how, how far. Mine's flashing green all the way up to say it's 100%. So if it's only got um, two and a half lights on there, then you know it's only half charged. Simple as that. So you know how you know how you charge it all the time. So I've already plugged mine in. It is fan assisted too, so it does keep the battery nice and cool whilst it's all charged up, all that sort of good stuff. And it's also got indicators on the top, you say 25%, 50%, 75%, and 100 percent on top of that as well. So you can actually visibly see it as well as you're charging. So that is your your battery component side of it. Next thing to do would be to pick up your grass bag, grass catcher. There's a bag, here's a bag. Now this whole mower will weigh about 25 kilos, no more than that, okay? Really, really simple, not nice and light. And your grass bag is a 55 litre um, grass bag. Now it looks to be relatively simple. This is the first time I'm seeing this, so just gotta sort of work this out myself. And it looks like all you have to do is thread these into uh, the, the grooves up the top here. They just sit in and then do the underside. So let's you just get a hold of your grass box and just start to thread the the rubbers up into the top of the box. Just like so. When you get so far, you can just start to push them all the way up and you'll hear like a bit of a click noise as it goes in. Just gonna slide that to me slightly, just so it all goes in nicely. There is there. You hear the clicking noise. Just run that all the way around Keep hearing that lovely clicking noise and that tells you you're getting it in place. So 55 litres grass capacity, this is I say it's about an 18 inch cut, this one. It's going to take minutes to assemble so that's why I thought I'd do it in, more in real time rather than editing the video. All the way around. It can be just a bit fiddly or a bit tough on the fingers, but we are winning. Once you get it around to where you want it to be, that all sits in. There you go. There you go. So that's a grass bag, top attached, and then the underside just push all the way forward, and then it's got some little tiny side skirts on the side here, just to they go on the inside and then come over over the bar and then onto the outside. One there, and one exactly the same on the other side. As I say, just a bit fiddly on the old fingers. Initially, but you're only gonna do this once. Over top. Run it over, and there you go. And there's your grass bag, fully assembled. All 55 liters of it. 
on to the next step. So just one note to make on your grass box, once you put your side skirts on and your end bars, just make sure that your, your bar goes underneath the mower on, the, on a plastic tray and into these clips here. So you may have to put those, that bar in first before you start doing the, the other bit. So yeah, quick note, metal bar goes underneath. So one other thing you need to remember is you'll also get a nice big pack full of paperwork to get your warranty extended. It even says uh, extend your warranty. But one of the most important things you don't want to be losing is inside your warranty paperwork is this little tiny two prong key. Put that in your grass bag for now and don't forget that's where you put it. Then go back indoors and whilst your battery's charging, you can uh, go online and um, extend your warranty. You've also got your Ego charger information there, user manual, setup manual, all that sort of good stuff. Troubleshooting is all inside there. So. Make sure you keep that nice and safe. And then we get on to the next bit. So, on to the next bit will be uh, the actual mower itself. Now the mower, as I say, only weighs about 25 kilos. So it is, it is not a particularly heavy machine. Whoa. Yeah, whoa, exactly, Riley. That is so cool. You're so right, Riley. It's for cutting grass. So, pretty much, it is plug and play. Okay, with the mower now up on the bench, squeeze the handle in on the side, the handle goes all the way up until it locks off. Now what I like about this, it's got three lock off positions, high, uh, uh, low, medium, and high. And also for storage, it'll go over this far and stop, but then you can also go over all the way to there till it locks off. You can then tip the lawnmower up onto its side, like so, and that would be how you can store your lawnmower in your garage so it doesn't take up so much space. How cool is that? No worry about tipping up petrol, things like that, so no problem at all. And again, 25 kilos, so nice and light. Once your handlebars are up and all the way over where you want them, you then have these two tiny green levers here and here, and a telescopic arm runs out, clip those back into place, and there you have your lawnmower now ready to use. Now, the only thing you've got to do now is put your, your Ego battery in. Thank you very much, my, my useful help. assistant. You can definitely help. He likes to get involved. That just slides into there and push it into it goes click. Now, Riley can now push any button he likes, right? Because this lawnmower is not going to do anything. Now, remember what I said to you that special little key, what key? just here. Okay. This law, no, you can't touch this one. This is daddy's one. This special little key here goes inside and it's two prong space and it just literally just fits inside there, just like so. Close the lid down, and now your lawnmower is now active, so to speak. If you now push the buttons, this lawnmower will start. But with kids around, put the key out, and away you go. Put it in your pocket, it's safe. When you come back after you empty your grass bag or a cup of tea or a beer, put your key back in, and away you go. So always remember your safety first. This machine also comes with a guaranteed safety as well, where you have to um, push in the green button on top of the handle before you pull in the, the, the bay alarm. I was the mower won't start itself. One other note to make quickly is that when, before you um, get your lawnmower up and running, it's just to tip the lawnmower back onto its side, like so, onto its end, and that would be how you store your lawnmower. And just to double check, there's no packing in there, because some, some companies do put packing arrangements in there um, just for transportation, but we know there's nothing in there, but that would be how you store your Ego lawnmower. How cool is that? So back down it goes. Yeah. We're now gonna clear the decks up. Um, get the mower on the lawn because I have actually left my lawn very, very long for about two weeks. It does actually want a, want a decent cut. I'm going to put the key in my pocket so it's nice and safe for us to do that. We get set up and we come back to you. Okay, Ego mower now on the lawn and the key has been put in, battery has been inserted. Riley's just found a really cool feature. Riley, push that button down there again, mate, for me. Okay, guys. What is that? There you go, and on the front of the machine, you've now got LED lights. You can now cut in the dark. How fantastic is that? So, because Riley um, got, has got a rare syndrome, he's awake at half past two in the morning, battery power nice and quiet, nice and dark. Riley can come out here and cut the grass, so that's good. So, grass flap, grass box, no problem. Lift the grass flap up, insert the box onto the two hooks. I couldn't get more self explanatory than that at all. You've got. Um, your height setting control lever on the side here, and that'll go from 20 millimeters to 80 millimeters. And that is actually, looking at that, that's actually really high. Now I can't emphasize how light this mower is for an 18 inch cut. I cannot emphasize that. It is absolutely shockingly light. Now remember what I said about the height control. Where I am now, that, let's put down to the lowest setting. That's the lowest setting, that, that, that's too low for me. You can see my, arm, my arms are sagged down, but that'd be just right for, for Mrs. P, because she's quite short. One for Nana, she's a bit taller. That's not, that's not too bad for me. 
but actually I'm six foot two. I would like to be right up here with this. Now, the added features of this machine are, not only does it have self-propel, but all the safety features, but it also has a very drive control as well. So depending on how, how long your little legs are, you can actually set this um, for very for off or for very, very fast walking or, or intermediate. So you can set it for your own personal walking pace. And if you're a husband and wife team or partner team, and one's, one's a bit taller than the other, you can have your own setting, so fantastic. To start this machine up, you can't just pull the bail arm in, it doesn't work like that. The key has to be inside the battery power source, battery power um, all put in properly. Pull the bail in, nothing will happen. You have to push down this green button here first and then engage your power source to spare. And there you go, nice and quiet. Oh my Lord, it's, it's not at all loud. self propel buttons on the top here, two thumb grips. And away you go. Let's just see how slow it is. So that's off. So you have an off position, so you can actually use it as a push mower. And then you can just bring in the self-propel faster and faster and faster. And the, the quick self-propel is actually quite quick, to be fair. It actually gets quite a pace on. So you can set it for your own individual walking pace. So the lawnmower is now all good, all good to go. This little lawnmower, the, the variable speed, I really like that a lot. I think that's a brilliant little design. Uh, this will cut up to 800 square meters on one, on one full charge. As I say, from zero to 100%, about 40 minutes per charge. And if you have other Ego products, and you have other Ego batteries, and therefore you, you can chop and change and do that sort of good stuff. So I really like it. Um, I think what we need to do really now is just put it for its test and see what it actually does. So my lawn, as I say, has been left for about two or three weeks. Mrs. P has been absolutely on my case about cutting the grass, so today we're going to do it. So we're going to drop it down to the lowest setting because that will give it the hardest challenge uh, to, to bag and to cut the grass all in all. So let me get it set up, um, get all the chairs out of the way, and we're going to cut the lawn and uh, see how it does. Okay, so one feature I actually do like, and that is you can actually set your, your walking pace to wherever you want it, and then without engaging the blades, you can just engage the self-propel, and you can push a mower along with you. So it'll actually push you along. Nice.
long cut with this Ego LM193 uh, ESP. I don't know why I've got to give it all these big long names. Um, they're an absolute pickle to remember, especially for reviews. So that's it all done. Now I've got the key in hand. So I know that a Riley boy, I can go in for a cup of tea, whatever, leave the mower. I've got the key in hand. Um, that's fantastic, nice and safe. What Maybe one thing I would change if, if it were me, is I would have this key, there's a little tiny hole through here so you, you can put a bit of string on it. I would like to have this, maybe this key up here on a lanyard on your, on your wrist so that as you're working the machine, every time you walked away from the machine, the key came out. That would be the only thing because human error says that you put it in there and you leave it in there and one day your grandkid or your kid turns up and these things happen. That would be my, my personal preference, that's all. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think. Is that a good idea to have it up here? or would you rather have it down by the battery? It's preference. But to clean the mower now, now, now that the mower's worked, done its business, three bags of grass come off, you can now tip the lawnmower down, hook it up, clean underneath, key in hand, nice and safe, all the features, nothing's working, I'm testing, doing everything I need to, nothing's working, key's in hand, so the machine's nice and safe. By rotating the, um, the, uh, the blade, nothing's gonna happen, and we can then tip the mower back down, Lift the handles back up, and away you go. Now, one thing I do like about this, one feature I do like is the feature, two features actually. When you, whenever you use a machine, whatever button, so self-propel, sorry, as the glass is clear down by the battery, you can actually physically see how much battery you've used and how much you've got left. It comes up as an indicator. You can actually physically see that. Um, the other thing I like about this, this mower is that um, once you finish cutting, you can then literally just engage the self-propel and away you go. Um, so therefore you haven't actually got to have the blades running at the same time. Another feature I like is a very drive. I think the very drive is a, is a massive feature and there's not a lot of mowers, especially um, within these type of range on the petrol versions that, that have that. Um, and you can actually turn that, that very drive all the way off, push the buttons, nothing happens. One click and it is so slow. So if you're going around bedding plants and things like that, that's a, a that's a really good quality to have, but the the, the ultra fast you've got to be limp and crispy. It's, 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 it's quite it's quite it's quite a quick pace. Yeah. So I like that. Um, so all in all, let's take, take the key out now because Riley Boy is here and he does like to push buttons in my absence. So I'm going to take the key out. I'm going to turn the lights off. We have a nice cup of tea now. You want a nice cup, nice drink of squash, Riley? Yeah. So we've removed uh, three bags off this lawn. Grass has now been cut. We're probably in the hot tub today. Have a nice relax, take Pip for a nice walk, and uh, that'd be done. So there you go. If I saw a review of Mixed Mowers and Mower Man on doing this Ego um, battery-powered lawnmower, then leave us a comment, please, and uh, give us a thumbs up. It does help towards the growth of our channel. And hopefully we'll have more Ego products coming your way very, very soon. And um, yeah, there you go. Don't forget, if you like this little video get of uh, Mixed Mowers and Mower Man, hit your subscribe button and whack the old bell. Please. That way you'll be coming up on another video. And we look forward to you girls and guys next time on Mixed Mowers very, very soon. And don't forget, much more importantly, take it easy.